In an outstanding flash of time, I had to renounce my lovely place in my hometown, the trees, the air, the big spacious house with a dog and two cats and kittens. I had to renounce my home hills that I've purchased a downhill longboard for. And that's a week right before I had to go back to the flat as fuck, polluted desert heat city I cannot stand. And work as a wage for a while too. If you haven't yet watched my lengthy rant from precisely a year ago, there you have it. I won't let you guess, I'm a nature with a city type of guy rather than a city with some nature type of guy. Everything about modern living has us living in environments our bodies and minds have not evolved to thrive in. The place you live in determines the water you drink, the air you breathe, the food you eat and the people you meet. And I'll tell you how it is to live in the New York City equivalent of Eastern Europe. Great experience for some, awful for others like me that have nothing to deal with most of whatever rat race people are into around here. Anyway, rant over, let's get to the money, the title you came for. How to overcome the poisons of modern living. Last time I was in this city about a year ago, I was a semi-alcoholic, mentally exhausted kid learning whatever about life. Had a bunch of knowledge, but not enough to prevent me from the toxins of city living. I have experienced terrible health outcomes from living in a moldy apartment for a year. And let me tell you, you don't want fucking mold in your apartment. Mycotoxins are one of the worst things for your body and if you've got mold, that's a rough time for you. On top of that, you have stuff like 30 fucking Wi-Fi connections for your smart refrigerator, all putting an RF radiation shotgun to your body, contributing to the oxidative stress found in these well-researched studies. Smoke. I don't smoke. Everybody smokes in Bucharest. Actually, we are more proficient at smoking than the French. Yes, and the French really like their acoustic cancer. About half the people here enjoy electric cancer too. You cannot fucking escape it. So, the thing I do to protect myself from such pollutants is to shoot up the cheapest poly pseudo pharmaceutical grade and acetylcysteine on the market. 5 bucks for 150 pills is a steal. I am not a medical professional, I do not play one on the internet. Nothing I've said or will ever say is health advice for anybody. So go consult a medical professional, you dork. Anyway, 600 to 900 milligrams of this stuff will increase cysteine in the body, which is an important precursor to one of the most powerful antioxidants in the body, glutathione. Glutathione will detox a lot of the bad stuff that gets into your body from the environment and will help with other stuff like living longer too, I guess. Now to the hippie bullshit. Grounding. Yes, I'm asking you to touch grass. Wicked hard task, ain't it? Grounding has a bunch of cool studies back in it. It reduces inflammation in the body and can also protect you from some EMF radiation contributing to the production of reactive oxygen species, or in less nerdy terms, stress, mate. Grass is cool, but you won't be able to live on it in the concrete jungle, so the next best thing is to consult with my lawyer before telling you to not, I repeat, to not, place a wire into the grounding slot of your power outlet and make sure it's properly grounded using a multimeter and to then not connect it to yourself for some conductive mat to step and slip on. This video is for entertainment purposes only. Do not do anything I say. Now that the lawyers are off my back, water. Tap water in this city is garbage. Still seemingly better than any place in the US apparently, but not good enough for me. So I got myself this zero water can that drops the particles to basically zero compared to other popular snake oil brands. And this video is not sponsored unfortunately, and it should be, because I've literally sold two cans to friends just from an Instagram story I've made, and I should become a salesman. Air, the air, yes, air. Do people really breathe this shit? Coming from a city close to the mountains, this is hot garbage. Bucharest has some of the worst traffic in Europe. That's a fact. And that's going to be a lot of toxins in the air. 
Air filter the fuck out of this thing. It better smell like the Himalayas in here. You need to build a temple inside your apartment. Your own personal fucking Shangri-La. The shower. I mean, you could basically skip this step and save some money, but if you have a retarded body like mine and your skin is very sensitive to stuff in the water like chlorine, I mean, very sensitive. Since about the age of 12, I've had problems with water. I take a shower and then my skin itches like I could tear it off to feel better instead. Seriously. So yeah, get a shower filter. This will introduce some particles into the water, but it will at least filter out the chlorine which I'm very sensitive to. Sleep. I'm used to sleeping in a pitch dark room back at home. And well, for now I don't have blackout curtains, so I have to use a sleeping mask that falls off your face whenever you wake up. Also, my lawyer tells me to not tell you to shoot up some magnesium and some glycine before bed for better quality sleep. Magnesium malate does the trick for me, but that's me, my body, not yours. Food. My favorite topic. Jesus fucking Christ, people in modern society eat hot garbage. Ultra processed low quality junk. Like come on, stop buying the cheapest little milk and eating Cheerios for breakfast. Eat real food for God's sake. Skip the food delivery apps. 95% of restaurants sell overpriced cheap quality junk fried in seed oils which are a health hazard. Take some responsibility over your own body for God's sake. Learn to cook. Learn the foods our body has evolved on. Eat whole foods. Cut the junk. Anyway, I won't get much more into detail because this warrants a new video on this topic alone. I cannot wait for that one. We'll link it at the top whenever it's out. Place. Find a place. Your place. A place to escape. This city is big. I mean big. And there's nowhere to escape it. No forest on a hill. None of that. And if you are like me born into a place with a bunch of hills and nature, you just need to escape the mess. So find the spots where you can feel disconnected from the noise. This is my spot. The breeze is intense, the plankton in the water makes the air quality great. Smells like the sea. I freaking love it. So yeah, this is it. This is the very basics of adapting to the poisons of modern living. So, if you've got to this part of this lengthy video, it means that you are interested in whatever the fuck character this guy is building on. So your next question might be, why am I here in the first fuck place if I hate it so bad that I need to empty my wallet to make it livable? Money. Of course it's money. Why are you asking? Who would live here if it was not for the money? I mean, Tate willingly lives here, but he rents a private plane and can piss off to the Swiss Alps whenever he wants to do so. I mean, maybe when he's not under house arrest or whatever. I've just started picking up steam with things I've been struggling to do for years, so until I'm a YouTube empty house, ex-Google, ex-Facebook tech lead billionaire with a great body, I need a buffer for living. And being a wagey is the way to do so. I mean. I'm kinda doing the same job I was doing before, I just need to be physically here now. That's enough, here's my Twitter. I share most of my thoughts there. Cheers for watching. Next time. Sir, I heard you like exploring rainforest. Uh, what kind of rainforest do you like? Uh, everything that doesn't have any living beings, you know, one mile radius. <laughs> <laughs>